Praise the Lord. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord again. Amen. And the Lord give me a chance, a privilege again to speak to you through this video, through this teaching on the air. Praise God sa mga nakatune ang kanilang FB account. Salamat mga kapatid dahil po sa walang sawa po ninyong pagsubaybay at pakikinig sa mga salita ng Diyos na amin pong uh, itinuturo at ipinapangaral po sa ating pong uh, FB account. Praise God. Sa gitna po ng crisis na ito, praise God, the word of God is not bound or bind, amen, but the word of God is still preaching around the world. Praise God na sa pamamagitan ng ganitong uh, pangangaral, alam ko na kahit hindi namin nararating ang mga lugar ninyo, pero sa pamamagitan po ng ganitong pangangaral, amen, sa internet, sa media, mga kapatid, ay pwede pong abutin kayo sa mga minsahi at salita ng ating Panginoon. Amen. So, before the Word of God that I'm going to teach to you this afternoon, I would like to give Glory to the Lord. Amen. For His wonderful works of my family. Praise the Lord. Alam po natin na despite of those uh, uh, trials, amen, that we were not expected. Praise God. God is still there to comfort us and protect us. So today, amen, I, I count it as a victory this, because this is a the day that my wife and Christina is going to release now totally from the hospital. Praise God that they are now in under therapy. Amen. They are trying now to help them to walk uh, normal. Praise God after those uh, uh, burning feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I believe that the Lord is continue to give them a complete healing. Praise the Lord. And thank God for your prayers. For your support, amen, in our family. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I believe we are victorious in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So gusto ko rin pong uh, batiin ang lahat po ng mga patuloy na sumusubaybay at nakikinig po sa, amen, uh, if we account natin, mga kapatid, lalo na po sa atin pong uh, YouTube channel, mga kapatid, kung hindi pa po kayo nakapagsubscribe, praise God. I-click lang po ninyo, buksan nyo po ang Soar Up High. Makikita po ninyo doon na mayroon pong logo, mga kapatid, ng, ng the whole gospel to the whole world. Praise God. At marami pong mga video, preaching video, mga kapatid, na inyo pong mapapanood doon. Just to continue inspired our soul through the preaching of the word of the Lord. So marami pong mga live FB na pwede po na ay amin pong dinadownload doon. For, amen, just to review. Amen. At pwede natin itong uh, praise God magamit. Amen. Sa atin pong uh, praise God. Pag meditate, pwede tayong makinig po ng mga salita ng ating Panginoon. Praise God. So today, supposed to be uh, April 15. Praise God. Meron po tayo dapat uh, wins this service ngayon. Pero dahil po sa in order po nga ng, ating, uh, ng government po ng Hong Kong na Hindi pwede mo nang mag-gather po mga kapatid ng uh, above four. Amen. Praise God. So, ginawa na lang po namin ito para sa ganun ay hindi man tayo magkaroon ng fellowship service. At least sa inyong mga lugar, pwedeng maabot ng mga salita ng ating Panginoon. Uh, we keep praying mga kapatid na ma-restore na po, ibabalik na po sa normal. At papayagan na po na tayo ng government ng Hong Kong. Amen. Na magkaroon ulit ng... Uh, a mass fellowship or service praise God to God be the glory so binabati ko lahat ng mga kapatiran amen ng New Life Hong Kong Saints praise God happy listening po sa inyo happy watching sa video na ito may the Lord continue bless your life amen and also our brethren around the world praise God hallelujah shout out for all of you there praise the Lord hallelujah and happy watching this video Praise God and may the Lord continue bless us. Amen and inspire our heart in the Lord. So without any further delay, amen, I would like now to start uh, share to you the subject, praise God, that I'm going to teach to you this afternoon. 
that is found in if you have your bible by the way amen just uh, help me to find it in the book of acts chapter 7 verse 51 praise god i don't know kung inyo pong makikita sa ating pong maliit na screen praise god kung uh, clear ba sa inyo mga kapatid sabihin niyo praise the lord ayan praise god so alam kong uh, mababasa po natin lahat thank you jesus okay so Sa inyo pong cellphone, kung may mga Bible din po dyan na naka-stored, amen, sa inyong apps, but it's better in our hard copy. Amen. Praise God. So, I would like to read it to you in the book of Acts chapter 7, verse 51. The Bible said, Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did. So, do ye. The Bible said, sa Tagalog, mga kapatid, ang sabi ng Bible, napakatigas ang ulo ninyo. Ayaw ninyong magbago sa inyong kalooban. Ayaw ninyong dinggin ang katotohanan mula sa Diyos kung ano ang gina ginawa ng inyong mga ninuno. Iyon din ang ginagawa ninyo ngayon. Lumalaban kayo lagi sa Espiritu Santo. Amen. As your fathers did, so do ye, the Bible said. So this afternoon, I would like to come to the Lord in a short prayer. Hallelujah. And we need to ask God His uh, wisdom and knowledge, especially the, the inspiration of His Spirit, amen, to envelop us. Even where you are today, the Lord is going to give you, amen, a divine knowledge to understand this lesson this afternoon. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this uh, scripture that you have given to us. I keep praying, Lord, in your name, that bless the teaching of your word, even the, your people that listening right now, watching this video. Bless their heart, God. Encourage us, Lord, today. And we ask, God, the anointing of your spirit to be upon your servant and also to your people as well. Father, speak to us this afternoon through this lesson, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. So I would like to bring to you this subject this afternoon in this title, Why People Resist Change. Bakit may mga tao na ayaw niya nilang tanggapin ang pagbabago? This is what our scripture while ago, amen, uh, sinabi ng Biblia, ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, puso at tenga, amen, matigas, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, Tin tinatanggihan nyo, amen, lumalaban kayo lagi sa Espiritu Santo at ito ang inyong mga ginagawa. Ginagawa ninyo ang mga bagay na ginawa na ng inyong mga ninuno at ayaw niyong pakinggan ang sinasabi. You're not going to listen, amen, what the Holy Ghost say. So, this is where kinuha ko po mga kapatid ang, ang subject na ito. That why people, why people resist change. Okay. Bago yan, mga kapatid, we know that the government of the Philippines had declared an order, amen, the total lockdown just to control the spreading of the virus. So there is a big change around the world, amen, that all of us, that we need to stay at home, amen, and I believe that is a big change to all the world. That we need to stay at home just only to control the spreading, the growth, amen, of the virus that will affect or contaminated to everyone. So I believe this is a big change to every individual that you will stuck inside your home for almost one month or more than a month. Amen. At napakahirap sa isang individual, mga kapatid, na mababago lahat yung pong sitwasyon, yung pong routine ng ating buhay. 
And karamihan, mga kapatid, most of people don't like change. They will resist change. Now, in this application, not only in the secular world, amen, but also in the spiritual as well. Praise God. Now, may mga tao na ayaw sumunod, mga kapatid, kung ano po ang programa at order ng government, mga kapatid, that they don't want change. And also, even a spiritual aspect in life, amen, there are people also that it's hard for them to accept change in their life. So this afternoon, I would like to discuss that, amen, through this subject, and I hope that your heart, your mind, will be going to be attentive upon this lesson this afternoon. Praise God. So, just prepare your heart, amen, your mind, as you follow me upon this subject this afternoon. Praise God. So, repeatedly, amen, in the gospel or in the book of Acts, the Pharisees resisted change. Every time that we read the Bible in in the gospel, amen, Matthew, Mark, Luke, Jan, John, and including Acts, praise God, these policies, we will always read, I mean, about this, their attitude that they always resisted change. They refused to leave their traditions, amen. And actually, the policies were not alone, amen. Hindi lang yung mga pariseyo, Mga kapatid na ayaw nila, mga kapatid na tanggapin ang pagbabago. But people throughout time have resisted change. Not only the people in the Bible, the characters in the Bible, but throughout time, in our time, amen, they have resisted change. And why? Why? What is the reason? Why people, it's hard for them to, to accept change and they will resist change. Praise God. There's a book about the writer Tom and Joanne Scott. Amen. They suggested in their book, in, their, in, that, in that book, it says that why nobody learns much of anything at church. Why? Nobody learns much of anything at church and how to fix it. That's the title of the book that they uh, made it. This is Tom and Giovanni uh, Scots. Praise God. Because that there are several reasons according to their books. There are several lessons or reasons why people resist change. Okay, so this afternoon we would like to discuss to you that there are several lessons or reasons why people resist change. May mga dahilan bakit may mga tao na ayaw nila ang pagbabago. So, we need to find out that this reason why, why it's hard, it's difficult for them to accept change in their life or in their situation. So number one in our LCD, number one, the reason is they are content. Ito ang dahilan. Contento na sila, kaya ayaw na nila po ng pagbabago. Why? Because they are happy where they are and give grown accustomed to it. Because they are satisfied. Ito ang unang reason, ito ang unang, this is their own first paradigm in their life that they are content, they are, they are satisfied. That's why it's hard for them to accept change. Right? So in our lesson says that we have, we have grown accustomed to it. Meaning we are well trained already. So no need change. 
We are well experienced already. So we don't need change. We are well educated. Amen. Kung baga sa Tagalog, mga kapatid, sanay na kami dito, pastor. Bakit kailangan pa namin magbago? Amen. Batak ko na ito kung kahit nakapikit, kayang-kaya ko na. So this is the reason they are now content what they are na instead meron pang mas higher doon, meron pang rooms for improvement, mga kapatid, na hindi ka na dapat makontento doon sa sitwasyon na yun. Amen? Just like serving the Lord. Sa paglilingkod sa Diyos, do not be content that you are only a church goers. Amen? But there are more that you need to do in the kingdom of God, not only for being church goers natin. Do not be content in your serving the law, in your service to the Lord. Because there are more rooms to, to improve. And this is the reason why people, even in a secular world, it's hard for them amen, to receive, to accept change because they are content, they are satisfied. Amen. And they, they, they said that we are well trained already, we are, we are well educated already. But church, friends, there are more rooms, amen, to improve. Praise God. Do not be content on the level one of your service to the Lord. Yeah, even though we are confined in our houses, but there are more rooms to improve, though you will not go into church for service, but you can do it inside your room, inside your house, amen, to, to be more productive. Do not be content where you are, amen, your, your situation. Mga kapatid, marami pang bagay na dapat ka magawa sa ating paglilingkod. Praise God. Do, you cannot do what you are did in the church, amen, jumping and shouting, Amen, hallelujah. But you can still do something different in the sight of God that giving, giving His His praise, His will. Amen. Not only shouting and raising your hands. There are more rooms to improve in our spiritual life. Everybody say praise the Lord. Ayan, mag-response naman kayo mga kapatid. Hallelujah. So sabihin mo sa iyong katabi, kung nakikinig ka ngayon, huwag kang makuntinto sa iyong paglilingkod. Marami pang mga bagay na dapat kang gawin. Alright? Okay. So I think you are, you are following me right now. Praise God. So that's the first one. Reason why people resist change. Because they are content. Amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And another one, I mean, why? Reasons why people resist change, they lack of understanding. It's, this is one of the reasons, I mean, people lack of understanding why it's hard for them to, to accept change. They do not understand the problem or the solutions. Amen. They, they don't understand how to how the suggested change will work. But you know, in our life, we should have to be an open-minded. Right? Maging open-minded po tayo, mga kapatid. Kasi ang uh, point po agad, mga kapatid, kapag uh, gusto mong magkaroon ng improvement, ay Ang hirap naman yan. Okay na kami dito, sanay na kami dito, masaya na kami dito. Which, which is meron pang mas better doon sa iyong pagiging masaya. Amen? But you need to have an open-minded. Tignan mo yung sitwasyon sa iyong kinaroonan kung meron pang mas maganda sa iyong bagay na ginagawa. Praise God. Because hanggang doon ka na lang, limit, limited ka lang. Because you are happy, because you are well educated, 
Amen. You are you are now will experience and then do that for more production. Do that for more. Amen. You you should have an open minded. Praise God. Do not settle for less. Na hanggang doon ka na lang mga kapatid which is marami pa ang blessing na darating po sa atin that is the promise of God. Overflowing blessing. Praise God. So do not be content. Amen. Just open your mind. Amen. Hallelujah. At makikita po ninyo mga kapatid na may mas better pa pala doon sa bagay na masaya ka na. May masaya ka na pero mas may masaya pa. Yun ang ibig kong sabihin. So you need to have an open minded about this. Praise God. Do not close your 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 mind about the things. Praise God. Dahil sabi mo, oh, uh, okay na ako dito, sanay na ako dito. Praise God at okay naman kami dito. At least kumakain kami tatlong beses isang araw. <laughs> That's not the point. Amen. Dahil napakaraming kwarto, napakaraming rooms para tayo po ay magkaroon ng mas maganda pang pagbabago. Everybody say praise the Lord. Okay? Say may mga tao, mga kapatid eh, kapag may suggestion ka na maganda, mga kapatid, ah, no need la. Okay na kami dito. Masaya na kami dito. At least kumikita. At least kumikita. At least masaya. Hindi dapat yun ang ating reason, mga kapatid. Why? Because people lack of understanding, amen, about change. Because in serving the Lord, amen, may mga stage yan. Amen. At ang promotion is always come from the Lord. Ang Diyos ang nagpo-promote sa atin. So ibig sabihin kung may promotion, mga kapatid, eh may mga rooms, mga kapatid, ng improvements. At kailangan natin yan sa ating Christian life. Shall we say amen? Hallelujah. So, huwag natin saraduhan ang ating understanding, mga kapatid. Maging open-minded tayo, mga kapatid. At of course, we need the guidance of the Lord. We need His inspiration in our life. Because God give us a wisdom and knowledge to understand. We need to ask God, Lord, is this okay? Is, is this productive? So we need a change. Shall we praise the Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. So wag tayong masettle po mga kapatid sa kukunti. Na sabihin mong okay na ako dito. Masaya na kami dito. At least kumakain naman kami. May merienda pa kami. Tumatawa kami. But you know, in serving the Lord, Amen, hindi ka lang dapat, hindi ka lang dapat makontento sa isang bagay na kinasisiyahan mo. Pagdating nga sa faith, mga kapatid, may level ng faith, may measurement ng faith. Little faith. Amen? Great faith. Biruin mo yan, mga kapatid. At yung, at yung faith, mga kapatid, ng, ng sinturyon kung bakit na-amaze ang Panginoon. Praise God that I never seen faith like this in all Israel that even the Lord, amen, amazed on that kind of faith. Meaning to say, He don't have a little faith, but He has a great faith. Why the Lord so touched? Amen. I found that kind of faith. Meaning to say, may improvements. You see? Nakakaya, mga kapatid. Yung Roman officer pa, ang meron nun, nakitaan ng Panginoon. Samantalang sa atin minsan, mga kapatid, hallelujah, minsan di tayo nakikitaan ng Panginoon ng ganong klase ng pananampalataya. So we need to work out. We need we need an improvement. Praise God. So just be open-minded and do not be settled for less. Everybody say praise the Lord. Ayan, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. So I believe, amen, na 
ang lesson na ito ay uh, hindi lang tayo kung baga e eh, nilagay sa loob ng isang lugar na okay na kami dito at least safe kami hindi kami infected you can do something amen para tayo po ay maggrow praise God spiritually right so there is a change that is going to happen in the world though they are they, they have the order to confine us in our own houses but we need to do something to grow more Amen? Yun ang point ko dito mga kapatid Hallelujah Praise the Lord Okay, palakpakan natin ang pangyayon Hallelujah Okay, another one Praise God Reason why people resist change They are not willing To pay The price Ayan mga kapatid Hindi talaga sila Willing Amen. Bayaran, mga kapatid, ng halaga yung, yung pagbabago na dapat. I'm not talking about financial. Amen. They may, they may understand the need for change but do not believe it is worthy of the investment of time or trouble. Lahat ng pagbabago na dapat nating gawin, mga kapatid, meron po yung kapalit. Either, either sacrifice Mga kapatid, kailangan mong gawin para ma-meet mo yung pagbabago. At ang change, mga kapatid, hindi naman yan overnight na o oh, parang magic na nangyari. Uy, wow! Para ka namang ha, mga kapatid, na may magic na nangyari. No, it's not an overnight. Ang change gradually. So, kailangan mong unti-unti itong i-adapt sa ating buhay. So, yung unti-unti mong pag-adapt, mga kapatid, you, need, you are na willing to pay the price. Do sometimes it's hard to execute it. Napakahirap na gawin ito mga kapatid. But that's the process that you are willing to pay the price. Shall we say praise the Lord? So yun ang point ko doon mga kapatid. Pagdating sa pagbabago, mga kapatid, kailangan willing tayong bayaran yung kailangan bayaran mga kapatid. It's not about all finances, but it's all about our sacrifices. Amen. Na minsan, mga kapatid, it sometimes hurt, masakit, pero keep on. Praise God. Because there is something more better than what you are in your situation. May mas maganda pa doon, mga kapatid. Mag-level up po tayo. So, kung mag-level up po tayo, kailangan, mga kapatid, we need to pay the price. Shall we say praise the Lord? Kaya may mga tao, ay nako, Okay na ito kung magbabago tayo, maggagastos na naman tayo, mayroon na namang pondo na gagamitin, mga kapatid. Eh, of course, kailangan natin yun, di ba? Kung kailangan natin ng pagbabago at be more productive, mga kapatid, pagdati, kung sa secular world, you need to spend funds for change. Now, in a spiritual application, I'm not talking about Material things, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about sacrificial. Amen? So kung kailangan ng pagbabago, mga kapatid, you, you need to be willing to pay the price. Are you with me? And what are those things that you need to pay? Alimbawa, mga kapatid, kung gusto mo ng pagbabago sa buhay mo, marami kang isusuko. You need to give up everything, I mean, especially that are connected in the world. The pleasure that you have made in this world. Yung bisyo ng tao. Sacrifice yan eh. Ah, ang feeling mo mga kapatid, akala mo kung minsan, ah, wala ka ng kaligayahan kapag sinuko mo na ito. No sir. Praise God. Mas malasaya at mas may kagalakan mga kapatid na maglingkod sa Panginoon kahit wala ang mga bisyo o anumang pleasure ng sanlibutan as long as you have the spirit of God in your life as long that you have Jesus in your life mas masaya mga kapatid na makasama ang ating Panginoon so that's the thing that I'm talking about mahirap tanggapin ang pagbabago kasi hindi sila willing na i-give up ang mga bagay na dapat i-give up are you with me? 
So, gusto ba natin ng pagbabago? Are you willing? Amen. Change coming in our life. So we need to be willing also to pay the price. Everybody say praise the Lord. See, actually, maraming tao, mga kapatid, puro na lang hingi. Pingi Lord, ito yun, ito yun, ganito. Puro. Puro hingi. Pero hindi sila nagsasacrifice. So ano ang mga prices when you come to the Lord in prayer? Ha? Huh? Simply, mga kapatid, you ask God forgiveness. You need to be willing to commit your life in a humble prayer. And that is sacrifice. Give time for God in meditation, in worship, in prayer. And that is sacrifice. So are you willing to give that to the Lord as just to pay the price? And I will tell you, there will be a change that coming in your life. Amen? And if you are willing to pay the price, yung dating na nahihirapan ka, amen, dating run, run out ang budget, mga kapatid, mayroong pagbabago na darating sa buhay mo if you are willing to pay the price. Everybody say amen. Na kapag willing ka na bayaran ng halaga, mga kapatid, it's not about money, sacrifices, mga kapatid, na ibibigay mo sa Panginoon, I will tell you, there will be a change that coming in your life, that even in your family. Yung blessing na lang, mga kapatid, napakalaki ng pagbabago yan, na gagawin ng Diyos. Change! Amen. Dating nagigipit ka, mga kapatid, pero ngayon, mga kapatid, hallelujah! Praise God! The blessing, mga kapatid, kusa na lang dumarating sa buhay mo. Kahit sabi mo, hindi ko hiningi ito, bakit may dumarating? Why? Because you are willing to pay the price. Oh, glory. Amen. Hindi mo naman binayaran niya ng salapi. Binayaran mo yan, mga kapatid, ng pananalangin. Binayaran mo yan ng pagiging faithful mo sa Panginoon. Binayaran mo yan, mga kapatid, ng pagiging dedicated mo sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. At yung commitment mo, mga kapatid, hallelujah, ginagawa mo yan sa Panginoon. And here is it. Those are the prices that you are paying. And then, when God responded, kaya sabi mo, Oh Lord, hindi mo naman ito hiningi. Hmm? Hindi mo alam yung sacrifice na ginawa mo, mga kapatid. Yun yung blessing, mga kapatid, na kapalit na. So change Amen. Hindi ito libre. But if you are willing to give everything to the Lord, I will tell you, blessing will come to you. Blessing will overtake you. That's what the Bible said in Deuteronomy chapter 28. If you hearken unto my word and to my commandment, if you are willing, amen, to obey my word, then I will open the windows of heaven to pour out blessing. Praise God. And the blessing will come upon you and blessing will come and overtake you. You see, kahit hindi mo hiningi, lalampasan ka ng blessing. So this afternoon, are you willing to pay the price? Hallelujah. Kahit walang church physically na we are gathered here in new life, praise God. But even you are inside your house or in your employer house, amen. Praise God. Yung price na hinihingi ng Panginoon, willing mo pa rin ibigay ito. You have the time for your Bible meditation, the Word of God, prayer, praise God, and especially, amen, nakikinig ka pa rin sa sa mga pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos like this, what you are doing right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, sabihin mo, can you tell to yourself, Lord, help me to pay the price. Come on. Say it. Help me, Lord, 
to pay the price. Praise God. And if you pay the price, even you will not ask him blessing, blessing will come upon you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we clap our hands for the Lord? Glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's go. Amen. Another. Another one. Reason why people resist change. Okay. I discussed it already for you. The first. Praise God. People. They are content. They are lack of understanding. They are not willing to pay the price. And here is it. Number four. They are tradition bound. This is a very critical subject that why people that they have the reason to resist change because most of the people they are tradition bound. So ang kanilang team song dahil ayaw nila mga kapatid na tanggapin ang pagbabago their theme song, it says, that is the way we have always done it. <laughs> that is the way we have always done it. Now, when it comes to faith, pagdating sa pananampalataya, amen, sabi nila, people said, this is the way our ancestors brought up us. You see? Madalas, we hear that from the people. We, when you invited them to go to the church or just try to attend our fellowship, amen, they are always told us, amen, hindi na namin, no need to change our religion, amen. This is where our ancestor brought us up, brought up us. Dito na kami namulat, Right? Dito na kami nagising. Because when we go into your church, listen to me, this is always the common word that we heard from the people when you, when you are trying to invite them to attend the fellowship. They will, oh my, my ancestors, my parents get mad on us if we change our religion. You see? Lagi po nila sinasabi yan, mga kapatid. Magagalit daw yung mga Mga magulang nila, mga kapatid, relatives nila na magbabago sa li kasi sila na lang yung kakaiba tapos the rest of the relatives are sulit. Alam nyo na mga kapatid kung saan sila sulit. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, it's hard for a single or individual, amen, to receive change if they are traditional bound or traditionally bound. Which is yung kanilang thinking na kamayong setting na doon, mga kapatid na, ah, ito na yung totoo, dito na kami uh, nadapa, ay, uh, at dito na rin kami babangon. You see? Which is mali, mga kapatid na reason, mga kapatid, papaano na magkaroon ng chance Amen. Ang grace at favor ng Diyos sa isang kaluluwa kung ang reason ng tao ay ganito. Dito na kami nadapa at dito na rin kami babangon. Of course. Alam nga naman kung nadapa ka dito sa Siektong Choy, babangon ka sa Chunmun. Maling, maling reason yon mga kapatid. Why? Because this is the kind of spirit that people bound. Amen. So that the change cannot initiate or work out in their life. We should be open-minded. Amen? And dahil dito, mga kapatid, maraming tao ang gapos pa rin, mga kapatid, sa kasalanan because they are traditionally bound. Praise the Lord! So this is the reason why, mga kapatid, na ang tao na pakahirap na makapag-move on sa kanyang sitwasyon Dahil ang iniisip niya, amen, baka magalit ang mga kamag-anak, mga kapatid, I tell you, 
ang kaligtasan, salvation is individual. You need to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Sa Diyos, dapat ka matakot, not to your relatives, amen, dahil ba ikaw ay hindi na nila tatanggapin na kapamilya, kapuso o anuman, mga kapatid. No, ang kaligtasan, mga kapatid, ito ay kanya-kanya, individual ito, mga kapatid. So that's why that the Bible said, you need to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And because of this, this, praise God, ang tao naroon pa rin sa lusak ng kasalanan at walang pagbabago. It's time for us, mga kapatid, we need to accept the challenge to change. Hallelujah. Lahat ng aspeto ng ating buhay, every aspect in our life, we need to find out, we need to examine, amen, it's that's the things that giving praise to the Lord, obeying the will of God, or it's that's the things, amen, that are always connected to the world and not giving and pleasing the Lord. It's time for us to change. Hallelujah. Kung malaki ang pagbabago ng mundong ito dahil po sa mga quarantine po na nangyayari dahil na confined po tayo and we will stay in our house that is also a big change but we need to grab that opportunity amen that if we are confined inside in our house amen there is always a room for change in our spiritual life we need to grab that opportunity to change everybody say praise the lord hallelujah Praise God. So thank God. And the Lord continue to speak to us on this lesson. Praise God. It's time for us to release from the bondage. Amen. From being traditionally bound. Because tradition cannot save us. It cannot save us. But the most important thing is you need to have a relationship to God. Relationship ang kailangan natin sa Diyos. And that relationship must be, hallelujah, founded by faith. Pananampalataya, your belief to the only one true God who created the heaven and earth. Praise God. So, I'd like to continue this lesson, praise God, but, praise God, because my wife and Christina is in the hospital right now, and they were asking me to pick up them, praise God. So, uh, for the meantime, I would like to cut this lesson, but don't worry, I need to continue this lesson, praise God, for the next day, praise God, hallelujah, and actually, praise God, I'm just only started, they are traditionally bound, and we keep continuing the fear of loss, the change is not so started, go on and go on, praise God. I will continue this lesson for you, praise God, so patuloy niyong subaybayan nito at tapusin po natin itong lesson na ito mga kapatid, and I believe there will be a great change that coming in our life. To God be the glory. At salamat mga kapatid. Huwag kayong magsasawa na umantabay, sumabaybay mga kapatid sa amin pong pagtuturo online. At uh, patuloy nyo kaming ipanalangin na bigyan kami lagi mga kapatid ng kalakasan, ng wisdom ng Panginoon para patuloy na mag-contribute sa inyo ng mga salita ng Panginoon, especially mga kapatid sa kaparaanan ng Diyos. Praise God. Not our might, not our power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Praise God. So, I need to continue this for the, uh, the, uh, the coming days, mga kapatid. So, pansamantala ko lang pong ikakat ito. God bless you, mga kapatid. At uh, alam ko na susubaybayan po natin ito, mga kapatid. So, maraming maraming salamat. Maligayang araw po sa inyong lahat. Maligayang pakikinig po sa inyong lahat. God bless you all. Praise God. Panginoon, salamat po. 
sa oras at panahon na inilaan ng iyong mga anak upang pakinggan ang lesson na ito. Praise God. At amin pong ipagpapatuloy, Panginoon, ang subject na ito sa susunod po, mga Panginoon, na pangangaral po sa Himpapawid. Lord, bless all our brethren. Bless their life, O God. And God, patuloy pong dumating sa amin ang blessing, ang blessing ng pagbabago, Panginoon. Salamat and we bring back all the glory and thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and Amen. God bless you.